Are you gonna tell me where you went? All the messages I sent with no reply It's like that You're just gonna walk into Hello my kings and queens, welcome to my channel Goddess of Whispers, it's your girl Karen and I am so excited to welcome my Capricorns back to my channel. If you are a Knight, K-N-I-G-H-T watcher, welcome to our royal family. I do want to let you know this is a general love reading, this reading may or may not resonate with all of my kings and queens so take what does and leave the rest. If this reading does not resonate, please check with your sun, moon, rising and Venus placements. Also the energies or the roles in my readings may be interchangeable so apply yourself as you see fit don't forget if this reading does resonate don't forget to click like because it helps your girl out subscribe and click the bell to get future notifications when your girl will be uploading another video okay guys so for some updates as usual want to say thank you to my kings and queens for those of you who have already subscribed to the channel thank you for your continued support to the channel if you are a knight k-n-i-g-h-t watcher we'd love to have you join the royal family as a king or queen and thank you for watching also don't forget to check out the community tab for this channel as i post frequent updates inspirational messages and when i will be going live for q and a or live for your check-in okay about your person's feelings we also have a new option available for the channel and that is a membership option so by paying five dollars for the month you will be able to access all zodiac signs extended readings if you choose to go the membership route the membership does offer different tiers some tiers offer different perks such as weekly check-ins about your person's feelings towards you and or monthly predictions in love and money okay that link is in the description description box below if you are not interested in a membership option a separate link is available to purchase that specific extended reading for only five dollars okay guys our channel does have a PO box address as well in the description box below should you choose to send your girl letters shout outs donations or gifts because your girl likes gifts there is an Amazon wish list in the link below there's um, things in that wish list that will help the channel out as far as different decks and such if you choose to support the channel in that way I want to say thank you in advance and I will be shouting you out okay so let's get started guys this week we are going to dive into your weekly reading my Capricorns we are going to use the psychic tarot of the heart deck to do so so this reading does come with an extended in the extended we go into detail into the message okay we dive deep we find out what the outcome of the situation is between you and that person whether it's a new love or a past love okay we also find what action is needed to bring it to fruition for you or what is the blockage that's keeping you two apart? We also dive into your person's feelings. How are they truly feeling towards you? What is it that they're not telling you, okay? In the extended, we, if it's a new love coming in, we find out who that person is, even down to the zodiac sign and the characteristics of that person. And then we close out with some overall advice from spirit. So you are going to wanna meet me in the extended because it gets what? Juicy. All right, guys, let's start your reading this week. We're gonna get the overall energy for this reading. Spirit, what's the energy coming through for my Capricorns this week and Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus to the highest light for the purest good? What's the energy here this week for my Capricorns, please? Thank you so much. All right, so we have success and growth which is the eight of wands okay so this is all about communication someone's wanting to come in and communicate with you is what i'm seeing here okay but maybe needing to build strength look at that i didn't even get the words out and the confront card came out yeah so someone here is needing to face their fears here okay build the courage to come forward and have a discussion with you to talk to you about something okay let's see what other energies is wanting to come in towards you guys this week Spirit, what's the energy for my Capricorns this week and some moon rising and Venus to the highest light for the purest good? One card, please. What's the energy here for my Capricorns? Ooh, that flew out. Okay, so we have the Four of Swords here, okay, um, is what is wanting to come out here. So someone is needing to um, confront you or maybe you're needing to confront someone, but nonetheless, someone took some time away um, to focus on themselves, okay? Some time to figure things out as far as what are they truly wanting, maybe out of life, out of a connection, but someone is needing to confront someone or something, okay? Or face their own fears here is what I'm seeing here, okay? Um, nonetheless, someone's gonna finally build that coverage to come forward and communicate, okay? So communication is on the horizon for some of you is what I am seeing, okay? 
Um, let's dive in further into your message. We are going to use the Light Seers Tarot of the Heart deck to, um, the, I'm sorry, the Light Seers Tarot deck to do so. Spirit, what's the energy this week for my Capricorns and Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus to the highest light for the purest good? What is the energy coming towards my Capricorns this week? What is the energy here? Spirit, what's the energy here? All right, let's see what's going on. All right, cut the deck. All right, so we're going to get five cards to see what the energy is this week. All right, so we have the Hierophant card. We have the Nine of Swords. We have the King of Pentacles. Wow, we have the Emperor. And we have the Devil. The bottom of the deck, we have the Sun, okay? So, so this week, interesting, interesting, interesting. All right, so someone here, um, this could be a situation for some of you, not all of you. You could. All right, so sorry about that, guys. Um, so, so for some of you, not all of you, you could be married to this person with the Hierophant card being here, um, or you could be in a very deep um, relation, a uh, deep committed relationship with this person, um, or you could just be on a spiritual journey, okay? But I am seeing here, this is definitely a strong commitment between two people. We have the Nine of Swords energy, so someone here is heartbroken, okay? Um, someone here was left um, feeling high anxiety maybe insecurities but someone here cannot get someone off of their mind okay so this could be you this could be your person nonetheless someone here is also very hopeful maybe hopeful that this person will come back to them is what I'm seeing here okay this is something that you you know someone here is crying at night or you know hurting in silence is what I'm feeling okay someone here is not um, um, refusing to see or face how they are truly feeling here or someone here could have been really broken hearted by someone now let's dive in guys because we got the king of pentacles on the board and then we got the emperor on the board so what i'm seeing here my capricorns because um this could be your energy here okay this could be you with in this king of pentacles energy a king of pentacle is someone who is very a business person you know uh, a businessman or businesswoman someone who's very generous very loyal dependable this is someone who seeks security in situations not so much a risk taker by any means okay this person likes stability in situations so this could definitely be you this person is very wise okay um you know very intel intellectual okay um and you know takes takes heed in certain situations that they put themselves in okay um not a partier by any means as well then we have the emperor here okay this is an energy of someone who likes control in situations someone who seeks security and order but also very ambitious this person also has a very high ego okay and and it could be very controlling in situations as well this could be the father or mother of your child okay but this person likes balance in situations so but then again guys okay we do have the devil card the devil card is all about someone, you know, maybe cha dealing with some type of addiction here. It could be cheating, secrets, obsession, sexual addiction, addictions, codependency, you know, maybe be fighting or um, fighting off some type of temptation of some sort or dabbling in some type of temptation of some sort. But we are going to dive in deep because we're not necessarily going to say this person's, um, you know, cheating here because I'm not seeing that quite yet, but I am seeing two individuals here. Okay, two different energies, but I'm seeing one could be just your energy that's coming through in the reading. Okay, we do have the sun here at the bottom of the deck here. So something's going to work out here in your favor, the overall energy, but it's going to require you making some type of this decision and i feel like that decision is to face your fear or confront the situation head on and i feel like someone is going to be doing that we do have the two of swords here someone's going to be faced with a tough decision to make um in order to bring that um to fruition for them but this is going to lead to a breakthrough a breakthrough for you okay whether you decide to 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 deal with this um head on or your person decides to deal with this head on nonetheless there's a break here between you and your person someone's taking time away to breathe okay figure things out okay is what i am seeing so let's go ahead and use the spellcasters deck to dive into your message a little bit deeper this week for my capricorns okay let's see here spirit what's the energy here what's the energy here for my capricorns and someone rising in venus to the highest life of the purest good why is the hierophant card here the nine of swords the king of pentacles the emperor and the devil card what's the energy this week what's the energy this week all right let's see what's going on all right, clarify further, spirit, please. Summarizing in Venus to the highest light for the purest good. 
All right, so for the Hierophant card, wow, we have the devil. Wow, okay. And then we have the judgment. Yep, mm -hmm, seeing that. We have the three of wands here. We have the ace of pentacles. And then we have the six of wands. Okay, let's let's dive in. Let's dive into this energy. So, okay, so clarifying the Hierophant card, okay, I feel like someone was not faithful or somewhat not faithful, but someone was dishonest, if I may say so, okay? Um, there was definitely some type of deception here um, in this connection. Um, this is what has caused some type of rift or shakeup between you and your person. Um, something transpired here. We have the Devil card here twice. So definitely some deception between you and your person. It could even be a situation where this this connection is a very uh, codependent, maybe toxic type of relationship, you know, where you guys are obsessed with each other is what I'm seeing. It's almost like having that energy of being tied to each other. So I'm seeing a lot of energy of maybe an off and off again, on again type of relationship too. But you always find these, yourselves going back to each other is what I'm sensing. But there's definitely a lot of hurt here, a lot of, um, you know, um, deceit, a lot of some one being a snake in the situation is what I'm seeing as well. Um, but I'm definitely seeing this is causing someone to, you know, want to apologize or maybe looking for someone to come in and apologize. But nonetheless, someone is wanting to come in and speak their truth with this judgment card here. The judgment card is all about letting go of the past or assessing a situation or making a decision on a situation. Okay. Is what I'm seeing. Someone could be wanting to come in and reconcile towards you, or someone could be coming in to seek some type of forgiveness. Okay. From you is what I'm seeing. Or maybe this is you wanting to, um, to apologize to your person or to someone because someone here wasn't honest. Okay. Someone here was definitely deceptive. I'm seeing that someone is waiting though. In this King of Pentacles energy, someone's waiting for something to happen. Someone's made it waiting for someone to make a move here. So this could be you or your person, but someone's waiting for someone to do the right thing and, 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 um, come in and say they're sorry. Okay. Apologize. Someone's waiting very heavily on this apology. So we do have the emperor here with the ace of pentacles. This is all about a new beginning. Okay, so I'm seeing someone could be coming back in here to offer you some type of stability, maybe wanting a fresh start, wanting to start over is what I'm seeing. But I'm also seeing someone has very high ego, very, someone has a very high, um, is living in pride. Okay, is what I'm seeing. Someone here has to get over themselves in order to come forward and, um, uh, apologize is what I'm seeing, but I'm seeing this could be something that's going to come to the forefront here with this confront card. Someone's going to face their fears or build the courage to come forward and do so. Okay. Because we do have the full card at the bottom of the deck. So that's letting me know someone here is willing to take a leap of faith. Okay. Change the dynamic around clarify the devil card. Why is the devil card here? Thank you. Okay. So we have the eight of swords clarifying the devil card is what I'm seeing. So someone's stuck. Okay, someone's like I said, this could be a very codependent type of situation is what I'm seeing here. Um, someone is stuck on 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 the past. Someone here can't move forward. You know, I'm seeing that you guys are always finding your way back to each other is what I'm seeing is that kind of energy. So even though you guys take a break from one another, you always come back to each other is what I'm seeing here. Okay, eights are all about strength and control. So I'm seeing eight of swords here, eight of wands here. So this is all about, um, you know, someone finally coming forward and expressing how they feel or maybe even releasing the situation for a while and then coming back to it with a fresh uh, mentality, okay? Clarify the judgment card. Thank you so much. Yeah, so look at that, eight again. Eight again. So someone here is definitely going to be building the strength here. Someone here um, walked away from the situation. Someone felt like the situation no longer served them. However, someone here cannot get over the past. Someone here is, um, you see all this opportunity here, all these cups over here, but there's this one cup that this person is focused on. Yes, someone here can't get over the past, cannot let go. So this, I'm seeing that this was definitely a connection where there was some type of obsession with each other. Okay. So someone's coming back in. Someone 
someone cannot let you go or move forward without you. They're, they are stuck on you or you are stuck on them. Clarify the three of wands. Thank you so much. Yeah, the three of cups is here. You know, this person, it, this is an, an obsession between two, um, two souls. You know, you cannot release this. But I also feel like someone is waiting for um, an apology. Someone's waiting for somebody to make the first move. Balance is needing to be restored here with the temperance card. Okay, here as well. Things need to be done in moderation with this connection but I'm seeing there's definitely something with healing someone's going through a healing process at this time but is needing to confront the their fears here is what I am sensing okay something is happening here clarify this ace of pentacles why is this ace of pentacles here yep someone's coming back in someone's coming back in they're wanting to give to the relationship equally now so whatever it was that where this person probably was um dishonest maybe deceptive in some way shape or form you're going to know um this person's wanting a new beginning with you this is your past person wanting to work things out whoever this person is that is in this controlling light they want to come back in and now give to the relationship equally if they weren't valuing you before they now want to do so they want to bring stability back to the connection clarify the six of wands thank you so much wow look at that guys right over the um, four swords is the four swords again okay yeah this person has a very very high ego it's going to take some time for this person to come around but they will they will come around eventually um, for whatever the case may be this person is taking you know moving snail pace okay if i may say so but that's because they're still high in their ego but balance is going to be restored in this connection and i feel like this person's going to come out of this energy this four of swords energy clarify the eight of swords because they can't get over you they're stuck on you no matter what they do they keep thinking about this connection over and over again okay clarify the eight of swords why is the eight of swords here clarify the eight of swords please okay so we have the yep stuck on you stuck on you we have the page of swords here this is someone who is um looking back into the past this is someone who is spying on you so this is definitely um they could be looking at your facebook your twitter your instagram your whatsapp maybe asking family and friends about you they can't move forward this is a very uh, uh toxic type of relationship you know nonetheless or a comic karmic relationship because they're coming back in they're like i said it's going to be it's very slow movement but they're wanting to talk the page of wands is all about communication letters text calls emails messages see this is all about communication this is the eight of wands here as well this person wants to come back in because they see success in the relationship they want to reconnect with you again okay is what i'm seeing yep it was a very painful ending between two people but they they're not giving up that easy someone here felt like they were betrayed or stabbed in the back by this person but this person is not giving up clarify the eight of thank you so much yep then this person's not giving up it's a it's a very strong connection between two people they refuse to give up on it and they will be coming back for you or you're going to be going coming back for them okay at the bottom of the deck here we have the two of cups yeah because they see this as a kindred spirit connection they this person is not giving up on you it's it's, it's you <laughs> you and them or no one else this is what they're what that kind of energy okay if they can't have you no one else will clarify the three of cups here but they know they were um deceptive towards you is what i'm seeing here as well okay let's see what other energy is here yep the hermit card is here yep they see you as um in this light of you know um moving forward without them and that's making them very very nervous okay very very nervous this is all about you um taking time to work on yourself and build a better relationship with yourself so whoever is in this hermit energy you're making your person very very nervous they feel like they are losing you and that's something that is not an option for this person okay um they know that they, they're used to having these tower moments with you where you guys you know break up makeup break up makeup okay but something came to light here but they now feel like you're releasing them and they don't want that clarify the six of pentacles why is the six of pentacles here clarify the six of pentacles please thank you so much yep so we have the yep justice card is here okay this person is coming in this person wants to speak their truth this person wants, and we have to also have the king of wands here okay as well so you could have been dealing with um, um with the king of wands here aries leo or a sagittarius okay guys but this person wants to come back in because the emperor is also um fire energy so aries leo or sagittarius so this is your person wanting to come back in and speak their truth to you want to come in and offer you stability um want to come back in and apologize to you but this person's gonna have to get over their high ego first in order for that to, to transpire okay clarify the four of swords 
thank you so much yeah this person's coming back in with love news whoever this deceptive person was the seven of swords is all about betrayal someone who's dishonest so whoever this person was that was dishonest in the connection they want to come back in and offer you um, a commitment okay this person wants to come back in and offer you some type of stability okay this is kind of like a codependent a very toxic type of relationship but this is all about love news the page of cups is love news okay someone coming back in to express how they truly feel towards you is what I'm seeing here okay but that's gonna be completely up to you guys if you decide to work things out with your person but this person cannot get over you no matter what they do they cannot get it they cannot deny this connection or this could be your energy someone here is going to uh, confront how they truly feel or face how they truly feel with this confront card but they're coming in heavy okay and they're coming in with this apology or some type of communication towards you okay my capricorns spirit what's the energy here what's the energy here for my capricorns this week what's the energy coming through here please summon rising and venus to the highest life with the purest good what's the energy here for, towards my capricorns thank you thank you thank you let's see what we got yeah romantic feelings this person's coming in to express how they truly feel they can't hide it anymore it says your feelings are real and worth exploring they can't hide it anymore okay this is a very very passionate connection between two people there's a lot of sexual desires here um between you and your person and it's something that you both can't deny we have getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens yeah this person's coming in they're coming in hot and heavy they can't deny it. this is a very um toxic and codependent situation look at that reconciliation is the next card someone from your past is returning to your life yep D didn't i call it guys this person this person's not giving up on you it's kind of like if i can't have you no one else can yeah this person's in love with you this person no matter what they do um they can't help it yeah look at that new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings they could be seeing you moving on with someone else but this is your person's energy coming in they want to reconcile with you maybe they see you in it uh, moving on without them and they're not having that they, they see you happy like i said this person is stalking you this person is you know looking at your facebook your twitter your instagram or whatever the case may be or asking people about you they want to reconnect with you okay is what i am seeing here all right guys Guys, you are going to want, want to meet me over in the extended we're going to dive into deep into this message and find out what is going on and when this will be coming to fruition for you or what is blocking this from happening for um bringing this to fruition for you okay till next time bye i guess you're back are you gonna tell me where you went all the messages i sent with no reply